You're playing a basketball game. All right. It's a tie game. You've got a minute left, but you need to win by at least 11 points. By 11? Yeah. What do you do? Jack and threes. <laughs> yeah, just Half endless. court, running down, yeah. jack and threes. Endless. Well, a similar situation happened in the EuroLeague a couple years ago. It's December 2015. It's the final regular season game of EuroLeague. Dereshafika versus Maccabi. Maccabi is an Israeli team. Dereshafika is the Turkish team. They played once earlier in the season, and Dereshafika, the Turkish team, won by 11 points. And EuroLeague works on like a point differential system. So if the Israeli team, Maccabi, wins, then they'll have a tie record which means they go head-to-head -head on point differential. So because of that earlier game, Maccabi needs to win this game by 11 points to move on. It's tied at 65 with like a minute to go at the end of the game. And what Maccabi is thinking is like, well, we have a minute, like that's enough time to win the game, but it's not enough time to win by the 11 points that we need to stay in the tournament. So staying tied for those last 60 seconds to take it into overtime where they would have the time to win by that amount was like super important. So the first thing they do is just start dribbling out the shot clock. They're like, we're just going to take it into Just not even overtime. care. Yeah. Just not even care. Then Dereshafika is like, okay, we need to like mess up this plan because if this thing goes into overtime, they could conceivably come back by more than 11 points mm -hmm. and knock us out of the tournament. So they start fouling intentionally, and Maccabi is like, well, we're just going to start bricking these free throws because they realize if they score even just one point, it's going to be a lot tougher to tie it up again, they brick like four, five, six free throws in a row, which if you've ever seen professionals purposefully brick free throws, it's very funny. This is a sequence, so Maccabi's in yellow. This is them just- <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, dude, they're just bricking endless free throws to keep it a tie They're not game. even like trying to play it off either. They're just like throwing the ball at the rim. They just keep bricking these free throws to keep it tied. And then Maccabi, the Israeli team, they commit a foul by accident. I just love how you accidentally foul somebody, how you just like been intentionally fouling the whole game yeah. and it's just like, oh shit, I actually, I didn't mean to do that. It's like, yeah. bro, what are you doing? Yeah, exactly. So what Dereshafika does is they sink one free throw, which puts them up by one, but then they purposefully brick their next free throw to keep it at one because that's like an impossible situation for Maccabi to like, tie it up to take it yeah. into overtime. So now Dereshafik is up one point, and they just basically give up playing. Because they're like, well, if you go ahead and score and you win, then that's fine because we'll still get to move on. As long as it's not tied and they don't give the other team the time to make up those 11 points, they don't give a shit. So there's even a play where they're just standing there not defending their half of the court, and they're like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> go nuts, dude, whatever. All right, so here's the thing, though. Yeah. Why wouldn't they score on their own basket Right. to then give them a chance to run down the court, shoot a three, right. and tie the game up. Joe, excellent question, dude. FIBO rules actually explicitly state that you can't intentionally score on your own basket to manipulate the score for exactly this scenario. It's rule 16.2.3. If a player deliberately scores a field goal in his team's basket, it is a violation and the goal doesn't count. And there's a reason that rule exists, because in 1962, in another EuroLeague game, a kind of like opposite situation happened because of all this like point differential shit. Mm. So Real Madrid is playing this Italian team, Ignis Varese. My favorite team. <laughs> I know you're a huge fan. They are down a bunch of guys. They're not in great shape. They lose a bunch of guys to like injuries and fouling out and stuff like that. It's also a tie game. Gotcha. And they're like, if this goes into overtime, they're gonna destroy us. We just don't have the manpower to deal with it. What they decide is to score on their own basket to make it a two-point win for Ignis Varese, and then in the next game basically have a clean slate. Come out and just whoop and their ass. hopefully whoop their yeah, ass. Hopefully. <laughs> so they score on their own basket. They call it an auto basket in you know the European way. And <laughs> the uh, <auto> there's basket. <laughs> I would have just loved to have been in the crowd. And just sitting there just like, oh, we got a, we got a nail bite every game yeah. here. Yeah, but then, also be like not knowing the situation or what they're yeah, doing. Just be like, could, what the hell? FIBA immediately was like, yeah, you can't ever do that again. Like the next day they made a rule and they were like, no, you can't do so that. So no more auto baskets? No, no more auto basket. No. Wow. I'm sorry to say. What a shame. I know. So what I was thinking was, how do they know it's intentional? And is there a way that you could intentionally score on your own basket, but make it look like an accident? 
Can we, can I go, I'm, just give me one second. I'm just gonna go get one thing. Yes! I was wondering if you could show me your strategy of what it would look like to accidentally, but secretly, intentionally score a basket. Just drawing up a play, you know, going down the court. One, 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 we got you. Then the ball slips out of my hand. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. We got you to hit like a dribble and then, you know, lose. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> And the teammate just comes in and is like, oh, 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 oh dude! Oh, oh, oh wow. Well. we're down by two. I guess, oh, uh, the point differential, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Right. So yeah, that's how you would deliberately score by making it look like Easy enough. Accident. But like you said at the beginning, it's way easier to just score a bunch of points. Reggie Miller scored eight points in nine seconds in 1995. Tracy McGrady scored 13 points in 35 seconds in 2004. Like, you could do it. It's doable. Yeah, they're putting too much math in this, man. <laughs> yeah, Basketball dude. is about hooping, yeah. not math. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Weird Rules. If you have an idea for a story like this one, leave it in the comments below. And there's a whole bunch of other ones, so go watch them. They're all really great.